All right, here we are um, going to choose whether we're going to use the first or second order integrated rate law. Uh, right off the bat, we see that this reaction is second order, um, and there's only one reactant at second order in sulfur trioxide, so that means that this is a second order overall reaction, as shown here. Okay, And so uh, what we're trying to find now is time. How long does it take for the concentration of SO3 to decrease by 80%? That's the only thing different here. Uh, let's write down what we are given uh, as far as initial and, and uh, uh, concentrations and K. So we are given a rate constant here. K is, and that's lowercase k. Okay. And we are also given an initial concentration and that concentration is 1.9, no, excuse me, 0 0.0.190 molar. Okay, they want us to find time. And they tell us uh, that we want the concentration to decrease by 80%, by 80%. So in order to find time using the integrated rate law, we need to know K, we need to know this, initial concentration which we have, but we also need to know what the concentration is at that specific time that we're trying to find. Well, that's easy because they tell us that the concentration at that time is decreased by 80%. So that means this concentration is going to be 20% of what this is. For example, if I have 100 and I decrease it by 80%, I have 20, per, uh, uh, 20 out of 100. So if this was 100 initially, and I decrease it by 80%, this would be 20, okay? Which is 20% of what I started with. So what we need to do is find out what 20% of our initial uh, concentration is. So how do we find that? Well, 20 percent, a percentage is out of 100, right? So if I take 0 0.190, and if I multiply it by 0.2, then the answer will be 20% of this. Percent is out of 100, so I've moved the decimal place to the left two times, okay? 0 0.2, 1, if I move it to the right two times, it's 20%. So if I multiply this by 0.2, then I'll have my answer. Why 0.2? Because if I have 1, say I have the number 1, and I want 50% of 1, what's 50% of the number 1? 0.5. If I have the number 1, what's 90% of the number 1? 0.9. If I have the number one, what is 20% of the number one? Point two. So I'm going to take this, that's 20%, this is 90%, that's 50%. I'm going to take this and multiply it by my initial concentration to see what 20% of this is. Okay? So... Uh, I do that in my calculator, 0 0.2 times 0 0.190, 0 0.038. That's 20% of 0 0.190. So we found A, it's 0 0.038 molar. Okay? So all we did was list our givens. K, initial concentration. We want to find the time where the concentration of this has decreased by 80% to this. In order to find what that new concentration is, we just had to take 20% of what we started with. Okay? So we did that by multiplying our initial concentration by 0.2, which is 20%. So 0.2 times this gives us the uh, concentration. Uh, the new concentration that we're interested in, right? 
So now that we have that, we can now just plug into the integrated rate law for a second order reaction and solve for T. So A is 0 0.038. The initial concentration is 0 0.190, K is 111, and we have T, okay? We want to find T. So in order to find T, what we're going to have to do is move 111 over to this side. But first, let's, let's clean up the left side before we start moving things, okay? So what is 1 divided by 0 0.038? That is 26.3158, and that's all the way to the minus 1, minus 1 divided by 0.19. That's 5.2. Six, three, and that's going to be equal to 111. That gets the minus one times t. Okay, so let's simplify again. Uh, 26.3158 minus 5.263 is 21.0526. That's equal to this times t. So now to get t by itself, we divide both sides by 111. It cancels out over here. And I end up with t is equal to, and what will happen on this side is this will cancel. And dividing by seconds to the minus 1, it'll bring seconds up. So I have 21.0526 divided by 111 is equal to 0 0.18966 seconds. Uh, they want our answer to two significant digits, so time is equal to 0 0.19 seconds. So it will take 0 0.19 seconds for the concentration of our reactant to decrease by 80%. This, as you can imagine, this reaction is, is happening very quickly. And we see that because K is fairly large. It's 111. It's not a very small number. All right.